Hello everyone and in this video we are going to learn about the compound leaves. So let's get started. So let's say this is a branch of a tree where a leaf, a general leaf is going to grow. We are not going to compound leaves right now. We will eventually go in. So let's say that's a general leaf and that type of margin which this leaf produces possesses is called an entire leaf margin as there are no such things called the incisions in this margin. So what happens when a leaf has incisions? How does it look like? Let's say that that is a branch again and we have an incised leaf. So I will pause the video and draw it. So here we have it. This is the same leaf with the incisions as we can see and this is not very uncommon thing we may see it in many types of plants many types of plants have many designs and each of them botanists have given different names which we didn't go into much detail about them so let's say that has the, that is the incisions and let's say let us think what is a compound leaf so let me draw a picture of compound leaf over here okay so you can see this is type this type of leaf is a compound leaf and this is not very uncommon also if you have ever seen a neem plant or if you have you must have seen the coriander leaves all these leaves are uh, called the compound leaves and this as you can see over here this part is not a branch which is coming out of the stem but this is the midrib of the leaf this part is a midrib of the leaf can you imagine a vascular bundle coming out of the stem so freely covered of all obviously but coming out of the stem a vascular bundle and coming out from there another brass vascular bundle which is actually the vein over here sorry not the blue color uh, brown color the vein these veins are these structures okay so that is coming out of there and from there there are so small small leaves attached so are these the leaves can we call them the leaves no they are not the leaves they are called leaflets so where are the leaves of this plant the whole structure the whole structure is a leaf so don't say that these are the leaves leaves are never so small these are leaflets or parts of a leaf small cut out portions of a leaf and the whole thing including all these leaflets is a single leaf so that is the midrib there is a vein and these are small small areas which are cut out portions of this whole leaf so how does this reach here you might have guessed the answer is that as this incisions incisions are there in the leaf these incisions grow deep okay grow deep inside and reach the midrib so how does it look when these incisions reach the midrib let me again pause the video and show it to you so it looks somewhat like this so in the light green I have drawn the extended portions of the incisions and as they grow and reach at one point the remaining portion of the leaf is removed and it appears as a small leaf is attached to a, a branch at one point but this is a portion of a leaf as you can see but if that was the case then this leaf would look somewhat like this right it will look somewhat like this this incisions reach here then how do, do we say that it looks like this and it may be more complex these veins small veins may also branch and that branches may contain the leaves so it may be more complex and how does that become from here here to here how does this convert so you as you may have guessed there's nothing to say over here again these leaves may have incisions and again this may convert into smaller leaves like this so that process makes an entire leaf into a compound leaf such leaves are called compound leaves so let us now try to study the classification or what types of compound leaves can be present in a plant so here we have it the classification of compound leaves and let me tell you this is not the one type of compound leaf this is the pinnately compound leaves only we will talk later about the palmately compound leaves also but the pinnately compound leaves looks like this and the classification goes like this unipinnate bipinnate tripinnate and decompound 
in unipinate it can be peripinate or imperipinate let me say you that this mid rib which becomes the ax uh, the branch in which the leaflets grow is called technically the rachis and if there are more branches from the mid rib in let's say in the type uh, bipinnate or tripinnate it is called the rachilla all of the branches are called rachilla so that was another uh, terminology or technical terms so you can see it is very easy to under understand not a great deal over here the peripinnate the leaflets are paired peri I, ca I think it comes from the word pair so if we replace the I here uh, R and I uh, interchange their positions it becomes pair just uh, a fun bit of information so pair pin uh, peripinnate it comes in pairs all the leaves and imperipinate impaired uh, they there is always a terminal leaf at the terminal position of the midrib so it is always in an odd number of leaves bipinnate as i showed the in the first part of the video there are branches coming out from the midrib and in the branches there are the leaves tripinnate as it goes same the there is a midrib branches coming out from the midrib and branches coming out from those branches which are coming out from the midrib and the leaves are there and in the decompound it will be fun to say there is a midrib branches coming out from the midrib branches are coming out from those branches which are coming out from the midrib and branches are again coming out from those branches which are coming out from those branches which are coming out from the midrib ok so little fun so it goes on like this and if it's if it's if this goes on more than three it is called decompound okay now we will talk about the palmately compound leaves and one more thing there are examples of each of them let me mention them first of all the peripinate type of compound leaves the examples can be carisha tamarindus or the tamarind plant cisbania the imperipinate type of compound leaves are the muraya margosa and rose the bipinnate type of compound leaves are present in acacia, mimosa or the touch minot plant and albiza which is of the subfamily mimosidae anyways the tripinnate type of compound leaf has examples such as moringa which is commonly called drumstick and melia as a dirac and the D compound leaves one of the most common example is the coriander as I told in the starting of the video a, uh, more examples are carrot and fennel okay fennel is uh, uh, it helps in digestion the fennel uh, seeds and uh, that was it also another example can be parthenium which is a type of grass okay so now let me talk about the palmately compound leaves so in the pinnately type of compound leaves we saw that the leaflets are arising at different positions so let me say the first leaflets first pair of leaflets arise here then here then here then here so there are different positions but in the palmate type of compound leaves as you can see all the leaflets arise from a single point okay and as it is a compound leaf so you may have guessed that it is also arising or it is also happening due to the incisions or the deepening of the incisions present in a simple entire type of leaf so again as you can see this type of leaf looks like a flower with these leaves as the petals of the flower we when we will talk about the classification we will use the word foliate like unifoliate like we talked unipinnate unifoliate bifoliate like this so let's jump into classification of the palmately compound leaves so as you can see over here uh, palmately compound leaves classified as unifoliate bifoliate trifoliate quadrifoliate and at last multifoliate and this multifoliate I have drawn you over here five leaflets and there can be more than that also okay so one question which may arise in your mind is that what is the difference between this unifoliate type of palmately compound leaf and a simple leaf I mean we have drawn in the past that a simple leaf looks like this 
We have drawn many times like this. So what's the difference? Well, this is a very good question. I have also thought about this question some point previously. Okay, so the answer goes like this. This is a compound leaf and that is a simple leaf. What do I mean? This leaf is much smaller than that leaf. Let me see. The compound leaf always arises from incisions, right? So let me show that an incision grows A incision grows like this, grows like this. Sorry, wait. Okay, so let me first make the midrib of the leaf. There, and an incision goes like this, like this, to give us that unifoliate compound leaf so okay that's much smaller but there's no definite size of a leaf is it then how can we say that it is a palmately compound leaf or it is a simple leaf by just looking at the size there's another point of difference also that difference is that you can see that here when this portion of the leaf gets incised and this portion is removed it becomes much smaller but a portion of the midrib is al also exposed so in the unifoliate type of palmately compound leaves you will find along with the petiole a portion of the midrib also exposed and that will confirm that it's a palmately compound leaf which is unifoliately palmately compound leaves so here let's end our discussion about compounds leaves and in the next video we will talk about inflorescence. Okay, bye.